Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are playing in the LZ Alpha, a colony that we have been running for about 250 cycles, give or take 10 cycles now. Last time we spent most of our efforts uh, concentrating on the plastic production over here, so we can start making a use of that. It's still not quite as high throughput as I would like, but at least we have got a start on it. I'm noticing that a lot of people have suddenly become idle and I'm not entirely certain why. Let's hit the printing pod whilst we're here as well. Let's just take care of everything that we are going to take care of quickly. I've got a little bit of uh, copper to come in there. I'm wondering why not. So all of these exosuits are taken up. That's fine. And these exosuits are running out of oxygen. Okay, let's have a look down here and see what we can do about that. That's this one here. Uh, doesn't look like we've actually got much going on here that's, uh, that's a real problem. I really feel like it should have been flowing fine. Having watched it for a little bit, every now and then it looks like that we lose a little bit of power coming across all the gas filters here. So we need to go and see what is going on with our power production over here. If we press an F7, I had a feeling this was the case. You can see that the uh, the ox, not the oxygen, sorry, the natural gas comes through and gets kind of caught up in this little gas trap here. What I think I would like to do is rip down all of this up here and uh, bring. In fact, let's do it. Let's let's go ahead and do it. Let's not just talk about what we're going to do. I'm going to bring a gas bridge over this way. We're going to then bring the gas pipe, I think, from from here, in fact. Uh, ooh. Ooh, we've got another gas bridge to worry about. I don't know how I didn't actually see that first time through, but let's let's actually try and figure it out. I mean, all we need to do is jump over. We can go out and around. Okay, it's a little bit messy, but we will do it. Let's go and do the little jump over the... Find the, find the spot I needed. Do a little jump over the top there, down and across and up. And I think the next thing we need to do, of course, is to take out a few of the gas uh, pipes over here. So if we take these out and these, maybe even all of this lot here, just double check that the gas bridge has not suffered no, we're good. Okay, cool. And that is step one of what I want to do here. I think step two might involve trying to do something a bit more complicated. So if I come down to the power and we go for a wire here, you can see that we've got this little system that's not really hooked up properly. Uh, so if I bring this down here and also then go ahead and go, hey, can we please take this apart? I want this actually at the highest priority so that we can uh, really make sure that this doesn't, yeah, immediately start burning stuff. Uh, how about if we cancel that? Does, has, has that helped at all? Has that helped at all? No. Alright, alright, alright. We know what we do in this situation. Who's on it? Who has got it? Everybody's unreachable. There's someone up here who can do it. I saw you around, but there we go. Why aren't you... Trap, trap, because what, what are you doing? Why aren't you... Oh, no, end of cycle. Mmm, that is worse than I'm letting on. It's alright, Miss Alive's totally getting in to save the day. She has, like, super fast running skills as well, so hopefully she'll get down there before it becomes too much of a problem. We'll break that out. Oh, look at it! Um, where is it? Gas pipe wire. We also want to put this in a ridiculously high priority as well, if at all possible, because, man, that, that just needs to get done. Alright, we are now going to have Miss Alive go down and fix that. Beautiful. Right. Uh, duplicates that know what they're doing. At least more than I do. <laughs> All right, that should hopefully be gas flow sorted out here. These should split equally amongst the two. That is, of course, as long as this top line isn't providing more for these two over here. I am a little bit worried that maybe now that we've like shifted around the uh, the method of pressure, we're going to end up with not much going up here. I could I could definitely see that being the case, but we'll we'll just wait and see what happens over time. Down here, we've got Mad Frank going around and doing a bunch of stuff, and that is because well, I need him to try and make this place a little bit better. You might remember that I was a little bit worried about the fact that. Whilst this pump was working, it was pulling a vacuum. So I thought the best way to try and deal with that is, of course, to start building extra insulated tiles up here. I think the first thing I want to do is put two across there and two across there. And I think that will then give us a nice wide open space to start thinking about how we're going to um, to cool it all down. Uh, I then need to start ripping out some of these. Uh, it's probably going to be like, I don't know, that, that pipe there and then maybe the same over here so that we can uh, loop it up and down, up and down, up and down. Obviously, the main bit that needs cooling is this over here. Maybe we would even want to bring uh, this this thermo line over this way now. Uh, but, that, you know, these are all things that will happen once these get put in place. So I've been sat here watching this for a little bit and my fear has indeed come to fruition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this pipe all the way down here and then that we class that as another input and then I just break these uh, these pipes here and that should... 
fingers crossed, make everything uh, work out. Because this has got a flow coming in here, so it shouldn't back up over that way. I, I hope everything will work out all right. But of course, the fact that, um, you know, there's only one atmosphere suit coming out over this way makes it a little bit difficult to get... Oh, look, the, the two of them are out. But it makes it a little bit difficult to go and do things. What, what are you even doing, Cubic? You're taking down to the farming supply. Fair enough. I'm, I'm kind of interested where Mad Frank is right now. You're coming down here to build some ladders. All right, cool, to continue the coal excavation. I mean, I am in full agreement with this action. I kind of wish you'd be over working on the uh, power, though. Yeah, look, power is a problem. All right, it seems we do this every episode, but to make sure things run the way that I would like them to, I'm going to disable the, the atmospheric checkpoint on this side of the building. Good timing. Lunacop came and turned it off just as Cuba had dropped off the suit. But look at all these people come flooding through now. Should get some jobs turned over nice and quick. A little bit worried that they're going to get exposed to... Ah, uh, exposed to the end of the day. So as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by the night time. It's good to see that everyone can get down here uh, when the atmospheric checkpoint is turned off. Though I'm a little bit worried that the environment down here is a little bit hazardous to health. Of course, we do have all the cooling systems and stuff going um, on as best they can. Uh, and in fact, if we have a quick look here, you can see that they are actually working as and when they are needed. Uh, so it's keeping it relatively safe and comfortable. But then this sort of thing happens and Miss Lion gets like cooked in her shell. Uh, it's not really what I'm going for, but it, it suppose it's going to also exactly what I'm going for, right? Mad Frank dedicated to his work here, sitting around and getting burnt. I think we actually need to just kind of move him out of here and see what he can... Uh, um, we, we got we got a problem here. Okay, cool. He he would have moved for a moment there. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, get get on out of here, Monsieur Frank. We need to send you back to the hospital by the looks of it. But we're, we're getting underway with stuff here, so that's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's actually go. Hey, you see this this triage car here? Go go get yourself sorted. Ah, quick, right. This pip is inside here. I need to open this door and hope... Uh, no, no, we're not moving the eggshell. This is why I want to open the door. So we can trap him inside here. And then I'm going to go ahead and do something a little bit weird. I'm going to move my egg cracker up here. And then I'm going to put down another... You know, I'm just going to click this. Click B to copy and put that there. Okay, beautiful. We'll just have that up there as soon as we can move it. And hopefully this pip now can't escape. Vi oh, no, he's on the... Hmm... I see where I've gone wrong here. I need him on the floor. Uh, okay, let's let's auto that again. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would work. <laughs> well, if we can get him on this bottom bit, that is exactly what we want to do. Okay, we're not quite where we started, but I have managed to open up these two doors, so he's trapped in this section. That is an improvement to where we were, but we need to also try and get him down and inside. Maybe we need to open one of these doors back up. So the way that I've been getting their attention to do so is to go, hey, quick alert, quick alert abuse, and that puts someone in charge of it straight away. Oh, we're looking good. We're looking good. Mimi's going to open this up and trapped him. All right, great. That's, that's exactly what we want. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm now going to deconstruct all of this stuff and move it up top. Wow, that that was a little bit more awkward than I was hoping it would be. I thought uh, just a single segment would do that. But no, a couple of cuts. We're there. We, we've got it good. Cool. I do know how to run this game, honestly. <laughs> okay, finally got the gas routing going well. It's being distributed to the four uh, different gas generators. We're getting additional input from this pipe here. And this one is spewing out its top amount that it possibly can. Or at least given the situation that we have around here. With the changing of the hospitalized duplicants, what I've gone and done is uh, activated the checkpoint here. I, I don't want to cook too many guys. What are you doing, Mimi? How, how, Mimi, how, how did you get a suit? There, there was no oxygen. But anyway, to try and save uh, their precious little skins, just just a little bit, uh, I've decided to, to give them the atmospheric suits before they come in on in here, because um, it, was, it was quite dangerous. It was quite dangerous. So now that we've opened all this up, hopefully there's less space to pull a vacuum. As you can see, we've got grams up here, and in this little section here, we have still seem to be holding steadily at 300 grams. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, let's have a look at the actual oxygen flow here as well. Yeah, that is going fine. I keep calling it oxygen, though, when I mean natural gas. Okay, with one situation resolved, let's go see if we can't figure out how to break another. Over this side, ah, oh, good man, Frank is going along and building all the things we needed to build. Uh, over this side, we have this uh, little puff ranch over here, and we have just opened up a whole bunch of uh, shipping stuff here. This should hopefully allow us to move some solid materials around. Oh, look at that. Where are we going to put it? Okay, so it's going to have to be over here, which is a little bit disappointing. 
not quite reaching everywhere that I wanted it to. But we're going to put that one there. And then I'm going to put this one... I think here, we'll, oh, I don't know, is that where we wanted to go? Where was the overlap? Let's put that there. I'm going to put my finger, actually, I don't have to put my finger down because I can see it's the eggshell. That is, okay, that, that's about the coverage we're going to do. Co Colony lacks a mechatronics engineering skill, so let's go and see who's got, who's the closest to doing that. I've got a feeling probably it is Mad Frank. No, no, it's not. Mimi. Mimi is the one closest to go. Okay, so let's give us some carrying skills and let's get the mechatronics engineer up and running. Maybe we could do with having someone else doing that, but no one else actually has that job as their uh, skill set there. Though we do have Jelly learning some improved carrying. We're getting on towards that, though. Uh, I've got a feeling Jelly actually needs to make his way down here and get towards uh, rocket piloting and stuff. Uh, but I do actually believe that's also going to be Forrest. Look, rocket pilot. Mm-hmm. And of course, you can be rest assured, despite the fact that I'm putting these things down on my map already, I have no idea how they work. In an aid to the construction effort, I've gone along and put down some dig orders to uh, take out the uh, the, the uh, tiles above this little area here. Hopefully, we will not completely destroy everything. You see how that goes in and out of being part of a stable there. But hopefully, yeah, that will all work out. And we're just still waiting for Mimi to come along. Let's have a look at what we got. Some people do want to come and fix this. I bet it would help a lot. if You know what? I don't, I'm not going to put up the priority. We're just going to wait and see how long it takes. It's probably a very bad idea, actually. Whilst I've just been chilling around waiting for people to do some building around here, I've noticed that the uh, the little slickster, the long-haired slickster farm here, has been filling up with polluted oxygen. So I'm going two things to try and deal with that. The first one is I'm going to put an airflow tile above this deodorizer to try and deal with any polluted oxygen at this end. And then I'm going to put the, my own little deodorizer down this end just to make sure these guys get enough carbon dioxide to deal with life. But going through and putting all these tiles down at the top here has just ended up dropping a whole load of other rubbish down on the floor here. And this, this rubbish here is particularly what I want to get rid of. You might have noticed that I've been putting some more pipe routing in around here. This is trying to get the carbon dioxide back up towards the mushrooms. My main aim with this little system that I'm putting in place here, if you hadn't have guessed it so far, was to pick up the slime that the puffs create with these auto sweepers and dump it into a let's find it here storage bin down this way can i turn this around facing the other way no it turns out not but i wouldn't mind it facing the other way but anyway this storage bin here is just going to hold the slime but the problem with that with slime is that it outgasses chlorine and we all know that's a bit of a problem uh so if we can actually get this up to a let's uh, di uh not disable uh where's the deconstruct there's the deconstruct if we can deconstruct this i'm going to go ahead and put in a high pressure gas vent instead because yay the plastics that we We've made that that should work out well and in here is it organics that i want to have it in yeah organics and then we'll put slime there and we'll, i don't know whether that's gonna mean that the duplicate's gonna come along and move all the stuff from over here to there but well you know we'll, we'll wait and see how this system plays out okay too many idle people let's uh once again disable that building and see what oh downtime all right let's not let's not do that let's enable the building again <laughs> You know, I've never watched a Slickster lay an egg, and it looks like we have the opportunity to do so here. It's also just a little bit rude, don't you think? But we are going to sit around and see what happens. It's going to take a little while to get there. We are at 99, and it is less than... Well, uh, we get more than 10% a day, so I'm not sure how long this will take. I'm just going to sit here and watch. Like some weirdo. <laughs> I mean, it does go all the way up to 100%. That's interesting. Oh, uh, is, is this it? Oh, there's an egg. That was um, very, very mild, actually. No no big animation there. That, that's cool, though. That's cool. How long is this off of being at incubated? Okay, not long at all. Brilliant. And a new day dawn. Oh, we got a new guy. Let's remove him. Set him free. Okay, that should then put another one of those eggs. Hey, that guy had only just got laid. Why not this one first? All right, well, anyway, it doesn't matter what situation, what order they do them in. Uh, what are we at? We're 6% here, and this guy's 0 0.9. Wow. Oh, also, hmm, Glossy Dracula. He drops, uh, if I remember correctly, he drops plastic. Hmm. All right, first one is in place. Of course, we're going to need some power. That That is pretty obvious. Do you reckon we put a transformer up here? Let's, let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to go power. Uh, and down here, we have our power transformer. Swap this around. Yeah, about here we'll do. Can't help but feel that it looks like it's upside down. Hmm, they can be built one higher than I put them. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so I've built one of these conveyor loaders because it seemed like the next logical choice. I'm not sure if it is or isn't, but here we go. Uh, I'm going to go organic and we're going to go slime, but you can see we've got another couple of issues to worry about here. Now, one of the issues, no problem. We have already laid down the basic groundwork for it. We'll get the conductive wire. We'll go up there and um, go, hey, P9, bam, biggity-bam. 
it's all good. Right, the next thing we need to do is to get back into the shipping line and have a look at this conveyor rail. Now, I have no idea if we can, like, uh, like this. Does that work? That looks like it works. Uh, and then we want a conveyor receptacle. Unload solid materials from conveyor rail into storage. Sounds like exactly what I'm after. So I'm going to turn this over that way. Why can't this? Uh, must be built in unoccupied space. Okay, we'll deconstruct. Ah. Uh, mushroom. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Cancel that. No, no, we do still need to deconstruct that. This that we need to cancel the build off and move it along one? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's what we need to do. So some slime has been dropped there. As soon as all this gets made, we should have a nice little test setup, right? That, that hopefully, fingers crossed. Ah, oh, I hope it works. I just realized we've gone through the powers of two day, two, four, eight. Brilliant. All right, possibly doing a dangerous. I'm going to disable this building on this side and see if people can just come up here and fix this because people are idling inside like mad Frank and misaligned. The two highest, like, uh, highest skilled people we've got here just, just chilling inside. Also, I see this uh, printing pod is ready to go. Let's have a look and see what we got. Thimble reads, not interested. Yeah, we'll take them, but I'm not interested. Okay, last piece of conveyor rail going in. Hopefully we've still got some slime down here. I'm not 100% convinced we have. Let's have a look at our puff prints over here, see if he's got anything going on that we need to know about. I'm not sure if it tells me, like, his hunger stage or anything like that in here. I don't believe it does. Uh, another thing I want to do now that that is uh, ready to go is uh, disable that building, and uh, hopefully everyone will deliver their electro suits back off. Yeah, maybe. Okay, if we're lucky, he's going to drop it. Uh, it won't won't drop there, will it? It'll drop down that way. That that won't be great. Uh, one more over this way, if you could, buddy. Slime. Ah, oh, that goes through. All right, th this slime down here is going to be a little bit awkward. How do we fix that? We kind of don't, do we? Unless we're going to, like, crush him in here. Okay, because slime keeps getting dropped down here, what I'm going to do is move my grooming station in here. I think that will help uh, immensely. I, I, I hope so. Anyway, and we'll deconstruct that one, and we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. And hopefully it'll keep him in the middle here. If all else fails, we'll knock down this wall and uh, put up put up the door system here as well. And that that work out for us, I'm sure. Oh, oh is this it? Is this, what, is this the first one we're going to see? Is it going to get picked up? Okay, so that goes poop down, and this doesn't swing into it. Why not? Oh. Oh, something, something just went, but look, it's empty now. It's empty. Let's see if we can get that happening again. I think he uh, just dropped off over here. Look, yeah, yeah, the bam, bam. Okay, that's pretty good, but it's outgassing through the system. Hmm. I thought I had a good system here, and it turns out maybe not. Okay, next test. Can we ship it through blocks instead? That, that may or may not work. Gonna be a sad day, guys. It's uh, almost at the point where our last Slickster is about to die from old age. He's laid many eggs in his time, but they've all been long-haired uh, lava eggs. Um, not what we want. He's been doing a really good job at producing all the crude oil that we could ever need. Well, I, mean, I don't know about ever need. But he's done a good job at producing some of the crude oil we need. Um, but, uh... Yeah, the, the time has come. He's not going to be able to lay an egg in time. There is even, like, close to zero chance that he'll be the right type of egg. Oh, it's, it's a sad day. It's a sad, sad day. Even though I have more important things going on right now, like we've got this little uh, rail being put in place, I, I think I'd rather sit and sit with this guy during his last day. I, I hope that's all right with you guys, because that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, he's now age 100 out of 100. Just ticked over. About there. I'm just looking at the, 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 the time in the cycle. Uh, so that, that might be he still has 24 hours left to live. Do we have exactly 100? I don't know. I, I actually don't know. And thus ended his life. Let's have a moment's silence in honor of slick number three. Oh, he's stuck in a little glass cage. Let's let him out. There we go. Oh, yeah. Another slipster for the crew. But this does leave us with a little bit of a situation now. Uh, th this situation all up here produces a lot of carbon dioxide. Once we got this carbon skimmer over here, so I could just kind of like crank this open like that and that'll deal with some of the carbon dioxide we're not producing any more uh crude oil anymore so this is something we're gonna have to try and fix one of the reasons that we we're making the polymer press though is so that we could come down into the food and make the critter traps we still need more plastics ah!
I think I think I might even go as far as medical tasteful memorial. As Shroudicus takes him off for the traditional uh, traditional ceremony of my peoples of taking him off to be part of a barbecue. It's it's how he would have wanted to live. How he would have wanted to die. <laughs> It took a great deal of coercion and actually changing Mimi's priorities to include uh, some digging skills as well, some digging priorities as well. But we finally got her up here working on the conveyor rail. It's going to be very interesting to see uh, how this works. The filters are not designated. Let's go through and do that because we just put this new one down. Slime there, okay. Conveyor rail is going into place. Okay, so let's have a look now and see if anything makes it out of here. Uh, there was something that it just... Stop like that. I'm I'm not sure how we can see a conveyor overlay. Okay, okay, we got we got some stuff, and then it's gonna outgas there. Oh, that's that's not great. <laughs> so I've gone through and sorted out all the conveyor stuff. If we have a look at this F12, a conveyor overlay, you can see. Oh, why don't you have anything in you? Um, so what I was about to say is that it appears to have sorted it all out. I've seen some slime make its way through, but now we have a bit of a different problem here where uh, we, we've got no polluted oxygen in here. We've got like a load of polluted water down the bottom trying to outgas, but it turns out that a tame puff prince just goes through far, far too much gases uh, and he ends up consuming all the polluted oxygen. Uh, and what's he going to drop now? He's dropping oxalite. Oh, no, we got some slime. Okay, so some slime gets picked up. It gets pushed over here. I'm going to pause the game quickly and press this button so that we can see what happens. It comes out of here, and it doesn't look like it is gas venting. 166.7 milligrams. Oh, my God. Even micro... Whatever the MGs are, it's not full grams. Oh, God. No wonder it outgasses so quickly and just disappears. But we go through here. It all seems to be working out pretty well for us, and it... Disappeared. Ah. All right. Fine. Fine. Bye. Ah. This needs to be a much higher, much, much. Look, there it goes. Just, just off, out there, in there, out there. Uh, much, much higher um, atmospheric pressure in here. At the beginning of cycle 254, we bring another long head lava into the world. This place is getting a little bit over cramped here, but they don't seem to actually mind at the moment. We're going to have to start thinking about. Um, harvesting their tasty tasty meat products but it, it's all working out well at the moment it's all working out very well at the moment so my plan is to try and increase the atmospheric pressure in here but of course we have a bit of a problem with the only source of carbon dioxide we have is scoldingly hot and i'm fairly sure it'll kill anything that we have in the base so i'm down here i've decided to start making another not uh, not oxygen sensor this line here is the waste gas line that we take up to get rid of stuff anyway so that's that's good that that is there uh, and and yeah we're just gonna make this work the the reason why i was trying to get the atmospheric pressure up i just realized i hadn't really explained that very well is because with the atmospheric pressure is high enough the uh the various slime or oxalite in this case slime uh won't outgas you can tell by this oxalite down here still not outgassing uh, and i know that's because it's got water around it but the same applies to uh too high an atmospheric pressure Hmm, interesting. The pump got fired up before the control system got put in place. That's kind of okay, though, because we still have this massive amount of carbon dioxide leaving here. I'm also wondering what temperature is. That's uh, 28. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, so I feel like we need to follow the line around. Oh, look, all this waste gas also being uh, brought, brought up here. So it's going to be a little bit influenced by the stuff down line, but that is no problem. This stuff goes all the way up to our sorting system up here. So as I was saying, the stream of waste gases comes up here, and you can see it gets processed through quite a few numbers of filters here some of these are doubles to try and speed up the process but mostly what i want to want to point out here is that we've got a constant clean stream of carbon dioxide coming out here which uh i have set up wrong which means it's going to be flowing out down there what i should have done is move this one let's, let's do this now so as i was saying our purified carbon dioxide line comes down here and it splits into uh, some of it goes down towards the uh, the carbon down below the 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 slickster who unfortunately has passed on but the rest carries on up here to the high pressure vent where hopefully we should be able to fill this up to the point where the slime does not outgas fingers crossed please after a day of operation this part of the carbon dioxide line is backed up enough to start sending all of it up here that's that's nice that's nice uh, it is all carbon dioxide here so we're starting to get uh 200 kilograms that's that's nice i'm expecting to get up to about five 
Yeah, up to about five kilograms before it goes out, actually. I, I can't remember exactly how high these high gas, uh, these high pressure gas vents go. I know it is relatively high, but it's not that high. And I'm going to go all of those and see what happens if this will load. No, I just wanted to know whether that could load up to there. It turns out it could not. All right, control system in place. Not oxygen is the stuff that I'm looking for. Hey, since I last looked, this thermo sensor has dropped three degrees. Wow! Also, I have this idea to uh, to insulate up once it's dropped down a little bit, so that we're not trying to chill down all the uh, all the rock around it. Just this water here. I think that'd be a good idea as well. For those of you just joining me for this episode, I, I don't don't think there would be many. This is my this is my cooling the salt water system. We've got a hot salt geyser over here, and it all pours down over this way. And we have the cool hydrogen system and a thermo sensor. Uh, also hooked up to this door. Uh, let's just press the automation. Uh, you can see the door opens up when we get down below a temperature and it also shuts off this pump. So clarity has arrived in my brain uh, like some sort of lightning bolt from the other side. This over here, this one in particular is actually what I'm trying to say, I thought would unload from the conveyor system into the storage bin. No, it is a storage bin in and of itself. So I'm going to set this one up for deconstruction. Yeah, let's do that like that. Uh, and I also want to go, hey, tick this for allow to, for manual use. So that when the slime gets picked up and I press shift F3, I've uh, Got in and out of this enough now to, to know what the uh, what the hotkeys are. We'll watch this guy go all the way through the conveyor system. And I thought at this point it was outgassing because we saw sort of a little cl uh, cloud of gas happen once upon a time. But if we press F4, you can see there is no polluted gas anywhere. So this made me think, hmm, maybe something's going on here. And I clicked on this and look, oh, it is actually storing the slime. You click the uh, allow manual use and then whichever duplicate is your farmer can actually come on in here and use the conveyor receptacle. Which means this high pressure gas vent here is actually not used, uh, not needed either. We could have just had this at a standard one because we're not trying to like compare press the slime anymore so we're just going to uh, turn that back to a normal one because the duplicates that come in here they get the burst eardrums and that's not what I'm after with this last bit of rail going into place I've had a rearrange here I've made sure that these auto sweepers get a complete coverage of anything that the uh, puffed happens to be dropping at the moment it's a mixture of slime and oxalite but that's okay I can live with that let's see what he drops this time oxalite fine it's no problem we'll we will put it somewhere else at some point over this side you can see that we're not quite making enough slime we are getting a fair amount and our, our um, valiant farmers are going along and giving as much as we can which means we do end up with quite a bit of mushroom every now and then is this even in here at the moment no i didn't have them put in there i'm not sure where they're putting it because they go around and fry it almost instantly i believe but with that i am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time where we're going to solve the mystery of the oxygen we have a, a second set of exosuits over this side and the fact that they are always out of oxygen because the ones on the left consume all the oxygen means that people can't get out over to the, the side over here. We need to fix that. So that's going to be our first mini project next time. What will the big project be? I don't know. We'll have to see and find out. But I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.